I'm so happy. It's Thursday and it's literally the most beautiful sunny day out. It's like 75 degrees in February. We're starting the February vlog on such a high point right now. I'm in such a good mood. I'm sitting outside doing my work, drinking my kombucha, having such a beautiful day. And I thought it was a perfect time to start the vlog. This month, I just have so many random fun things going on. So first of all, we officially returned to office last Monday. I'm going in one day a week until our new lease starts. So that's exciting news number two. We officially got a lease on an apartment. We don't move in until March. And then number three, and by far the most exciting, is I get to see Daily. Daily. Do you guys remember her? If you're a new follower, and I say new as in like the last five years, you may not know who I'm talking about, but for all of my OG followers, this is my best friend from high school and she moved to France years ago. Um, I have not seen her since, which is crazy. It's been five years since we saw each other in person. We still keep up, we're still good friends, but um, I haven't seen her like in person in ages. So she's coming to SF for one night and one night only, and we're gonna have the most epic girls night. I'm so excited. All of that is coming up this month. Lots of really good and exciting stuff and yeah, life is just good. This warm weather is making me literally so happy. So I just felt like vlogging and saying hey, and I'm excited to vlog this month, so. What's up guys? We're in SF today and we're gonna go see Daily. She just landed um, a couple hours ago, took a nap. She's showering now. So I'm just walking to the hotel. My brother and I had a half day together, which was really fun, but I'm just gonna hang out in the lobby until she's ready for me. Did you miss me? <laughs> we did. <laughs> that was guys. I'm so grown up now. I'm so grown up. I'm a divorcee. Yeah, give them the, the life update. Uh, I got last time you talked to them, she was engaged. Ago. Now I'm not. We went out last night. I vlogged dinner and then didn't vlog anything else. Um, and now we canceled our brunch reservations and are having a girls' day and doing face masks. I got us. Matching pajamas. Oh my gosh, it's so Please demo. obvious that's spoiling me. Look how cute they are. They're from Nordstrom. They're 100% silk and they're machine washable. So I've been eyeing them for a while and I thought what better opportunity than this. Anna was so cute. She had this whole like package. The care package. I was going to vlog it's it and then destroyed. I didn't. Um, but there was a bunch of stuff in it. I, I gave like her Laneige lip mask, Sunday Riley, um, this little sampler thing, I've never tried it. Boom, chicka pop. But the story is that when I checked oh my in, God, yeah. she didn't leave a note or anything with it. So they were like, oh, we have this for you. And then I was like, oh, is there anything written? And then they were like, it just says from Mr. T, which I don't know how they got that from you. But so then I thought, because my mom's like obsessed with this hinge date I went on a while ago and he's like tall. So my mom just calls him Mr. Tall. So like, I thought that this was my mom, but no, it was Anna. It was Thank me. You. It's, it's such a cute care package. I tried. They're so nice. They're so, so cozy. Soft. So soft. So, yeah, that was our night last night. It was like kind of a fail going out. We tried. Really? I mean, like, no, it's not a fail. It was just a, I was disappointed with the San Francisco bar scene. Yeah, we had a great time, despite that. I agree with that. The girls are a lot hotter than the guys are. <laughs> Which is a common. Guys. It, well, it's just a common thing to be said about SF. Is that like the girls are hotter than guys? And everyone's like, everyone says that out where they live. Like, no, I kind of think it's true here. Anyway, our face masks that we did are the Kiehl's Rare Earth, which I've seen so many people talking about. And now we're going to do a honey mask. So it's like a little mini facial. Honey. Okay, Wait, we're doing two face masks? So Daly just met up with her family and they're going to go to Napa. And 
I'm gonna drive down to Santa Cruz. I'm so tired. Like we were sitting waiting in the lobby and both of us were just like crashing hardcore. So anyway, I stopped it in and out. There it is. Let's go get some food. I'm literally so excited. So good. Today we're up in SF and I'm about to get on a party bus with a bunch of work friends and we're gonna go spend the day in Napa, go wine tasting. And then tonight is one of Donnie, my friend's birthdays. So he's doing a big dinner and then a big party. At, he rented out like a whole bar. So it's gonna be a really big day. I need to pace myself, but I want to do a quick outfit of the day. So we've got a black turtleneck and a cute little skirt and then over the knee boots. It's supposed to be kind of cold. So that is the vibe. We're going winter vibes today. And then I have my black coat and my crossbody bag. We are currently at the West and we just checked in and we'll be staying here for the next couple of days. So anyway, let's head to Napa. <laughs> oh my God, they look so good. <laughs> okay, we're headed to our first rhinery, which is called Angle Nook, and it's gonna be fun! <laughs> okay, when everybody has a glass of wine, we shall get started. Headed to Gotts for lunch. Everyone definitely needs a burger. So we just finished lunch at Gotts and now we're coming to our second wine tasting of the day, which is at Visa Tui, which is a very different vibe. They have a bunch of food trucks out, so it feels much more casual, but look how cute this place is. I just got back to our hotel and when I checked in, we booked through Hotwire, so I got a great rate. We've stayed here a bunch of times, um, but this is the first time I thought to actually ask for like a nicer room. And so if you remember, I stayed here over Vlogmas and it was like tiny, tiny rooms. But I was like, we're gonna be here for four nights. Is it at all possible to give us a larger room? And there was one available. So this one is way bigger than the other ones we've stayed at. Like, look how nice this is. So super stoked about that, but anyway, we have to leave for dinner in like 20, 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna like take a 30 second shower cause I'm so cold and the room is freezing. So I'm just gonna like warm up and then quickly change for dinner. So I can't quite get in the shower cause I have to wait for her luggage to get delivered. But let's check out our view. We actually have a view this time, not a very clean window. Oh my God, will it even focus outside? Um, but that's kind of fun. At least we don't stare at a brick wall this time. So, Moral of the story is always ask for an upgrade. Napa was so much fun. The first winery that we went to, which is Ingle Nook, I would definitely go back there, or like a really just unique tour because it had so much history. It's the third oldest winery in Napa and it has some world famous wines that were produced there. And there's just like a whole history behind it that I partially retained, but it was really cool. Our guide was great. The wines are really nice. And the second winery, the Satui that we went to was fine. Um, I think we started very high, <laughs> so it was like, not quite comparable, but still really fun. I had to leave a little bit early because this dinner tonight starts at six and the bus would have gotten back at like 6.15, 6.30. So it wouldn't have been enough time. And we're going to Roko Core tonight for a friend's dinner. I forget if I said that earlier, but um, it's a really nice Japanese steakhouse and they have a prefix menu for this party. So we wanna be on there on time and I needed like a second to chill. So I took a nap in the Uber ride home, which was great. And yeah, and I'm just waiting for our luggage and we can get ready. All right, quick outfit change, outfit of the night. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday and Ugh, now that we're back in the office on Mondays, I swear Tuesdays I wake up and I'm just like, 
exhausted. It's so funny how much just like being out of the house and interacting with people can tire you out. <laughs> so I had every intention of going into the office today, um, to our SF office since I'm in the city, but I didn't make it out of bed. <laughs> so I just worked from bed this morning, had like a slow morning, which was really nice. And I'm going to go get lunch with one of our third parties. Um, it's an insurance firm that we work with, which actually my friend Maya works for. She's in their DC office. Um, but this is a guy that we work with in the California office. So he's taking me out to lunch um, just to get to know each other. So that'll be kind of fun. And then I might go stop by the SF office for the second half of the day. Um, I'm not totally sure, but help me figure out what to wear. Okay, here are our options. Option one is basically what I wore to Napa, but I'll wear tights with this skirt and then these shoes instead of my over the knee boots. Or I have this silk top and some black jeans and the same shoes. I feel like this just like isn't an outfit. Also, I would have to steam it, but I feel like it's more professional than this. But also it's San Francisco, so I kind of want to wear jeans. I did not pack well for this trip. All right, here's the fit. Um, I just ironed it. I added my Kate Spade bag, which is looking like it's seen better days. I don't know why it's so dented, but whatever. Um, I'm grabbing my jacket to go over top and uh, my mask and we're gonna go. So I just got done with lunch. It was so nice. We went to Kakari, which is um, a Greek place. Their sister restaurant is in Palo Alto called Evia and they're both so good. The menus are very similar. Um, so it was really fun and now I'm just walking, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go to the office or not. I'll just go back to the hotel, but Maybe the office just to switch it up but i always forget what a cute area this is like they have an aesop store like very nice shopping um and i never come here because i don't shop at zimmerman but <laughs> um it's so pretty to walk through Just wrapping up at the office there were a couple other people here with me um the last one just left so i thought i'd show you <laughs> our like empty office we just moved in this new office space so it's like totally empty and not set up but anyway there's like some offices and stuff in here in addition to the like more broad general working area um we have a little kitchen so it's kind of fun um, I'm excited for this to be like more finished. But anyway, Donnie just got here. I called an Uber. I'm gonna go down and meet him. And then we're gonna head back to the hotel, pick up our leftovers and go over to my brother's and just eat leftovers with him tonight because we have so many leftovers from like three nights of eating out. So that's gonna be fun. Yes. <laughs> Just an impressive amount of numbers. Good morning, guys. I woke up and realized it was March yesterday. So we have the first day of March in a February vlog, but I didn't realize. And this is all sort of the same trip. So it's gonna stay. But I am gonna wrap up the vlog today, start my March vlog. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. All right, I will see you all in my next video.